Welcome to an exclusive exploration into the glamorous world of Jennifer Hudson, where every aspect of her lifestyle reveals a story of unparalleled talent, triumph and success. An inspirational beacon in entertainment, Jennifer's journey epitomizes the quintessential American dream, exemplified by her enormous net worth, the magnificence of her career milestones, luxury mansion and her choice of luxury cars. In this video, we delve into the tapestry of Jennifer Hudson's life, where each thread weaves a portrait of resilience, determination, and the relentless pursuit of excellence. Let's explore now. Jennifer Hudson, the multi-talented American recording artist, actress, and spokesperson, stands as a shining example of resilience and talent in the entertainment industry. As of March 2024, her net worth stands at an impressive $30 million. Hudson's journey to stardom began on the iconic television competition series, American Idol. While she emerged as a frontrunner during season 3, her unexpected elimination in week 6 left many fans and insiders stunned. Some attributed her low vote count to power outages in her hometown of Chicago, highlighting the unpredictable nature of live television competitions. However, Hudson's elimination from American Idol marked only the beginning of her illustrious career. She quickly transitioned to the silver screen, starring in the 2006 film adaptation of Dreamgirls. Her portrayal of Effie White, a role synonymous with Jennifer Holliday, garnered widespread acclaim and a slew of prestigious awards, including an Academy Award, a BAFTA, a Golden Globe, and a SAG Award for Best Supporting Actress. In 2022, Hudson achieved yet another milestone in her career when she co-produced the play, A Strange Loop, which earned her a coveted Tony Award. With this accolade, she secured her place in the exclusive EGOT club, joining the ranks of esteemed artists such as Whoopi Goldberg, John Legend, Audrey Hepburn, and Rita Moreno. The EGOT distinction, reserved for individuals who have won an Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony Award, solidifies Hudson's status as a true powerhouse in the entertainment industry. Beyond her achievements in film and theater, Hudson has enjoyed immense success in the music industry. Her debut album, released in 2007, not only won a Grammy but also achieved gold status, an impressive feat for any artist. She followed up with her second album in the spring of 2011, which peaked at number two on the Billboard Hot 200 chart, further solidifying her position as a chart-topping artist. Jennifer Hudson, born on September 12, 1981, in Chicago, Illinois, Jennifer Hudson's journey to stardom is rooted in her early years and the unwavering support of her family. She is the third and youngest child of Darnell Donerson and Samuel Simpson, growing up in the Baptist faith in the Englewood neighborhood. Hudson attended Dunbar Vocational High School, graduating in 1999, marking the foundation of her education and early life. Her musical influences include iconic figures such as Whitney Houston, Aretha Franklin, and Patti LaBelle, with Mariah Carey also holding a special place as one of her musical heroes. These inspirations shaped Hudson's artistic aspirations, guiding her on the path to becoming a celebrated artist herself. From a young age, at just seven years old, Hudson began showcasing her vocal talents by singing with her church choir and participating in community theater, mentored by her late grandmother, Julia. Despite initially enrolling at Langston University, she faced challenges with homesickness and dissatisfaction with the weather, leading her to drop out after one semester. Hudson then pursued her education at Kennedy King College. In January 2002, Hudson took a significant step in her music career by signing her first recording contract with Righteous Records, an independent label based in Chicago. This move set the stage for her budding musical journey. However, she made a pivotal decision to leave her five-year contract with Righteous Records, creating an opportunity to participate in the renowned reality competition. American Idol, in 2004, her audition for the third season of American Idol took place in Atlanta, where she shared her recent experience singing on Disney Cruise Lines as one of the muses of Hercules. Despite receiving feedback from Judge Randy Jackson that she was expected to deliver more than a cruise ship performance, Hudson faced elimination two weeks later in the top seven inches round. Though she did not secure the victory, her remarkable talent left an indelible mark, and many still regard her as one of the standout contestants in the show's history. Following her departure from American Idol in 2004, Jennifer Hudson embarked on a journey filled with diverse projects that showcased her exceptional talent and versatility. One of the most significant milestones came in November 2005 when Hudson secured the coveted role of Effie White in the film adaptation of the musical, Dreamgirls. Starring alongside renowned actors such as Jamie Foxx, Beyoncé Knowles, and Eddie Murphy, 
This marked Hudson's debut in the world of acting. Hudson's portrayal of Effie White was nothing short of extraordinary, earning her widespread acclaim and numerous accolades. Her rendition of the iconic song, And I Am Telling You I'm Not Going, left audiences captivated and garnered high praise from critics and fans alike. This performance propelled her into the spotlight, solidifying her status as a rising star in Hollywood. The awards and recognition poured in for Hudson's portrayal of Effie White. She clinched an impressive total of 29 awards, including the prestigious Golden Globe Award for Best Actress in a Supporting Role, the BAFTA Award for Best Actress in a Supporting Role, and the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. In addition to these major accolades, she was honored as Best Supporting Actress by esteemed organizations such as the Broadcast Film Critics Association and the Screen Actors Guild, further cementing her place among the industry's elite talents. March 2007 marked another significant moment in Hudson's career as she graced the cover of Vogue magazine, becoming only the third African-American celebrity and the first African-American singer to achieve this milestone. Her presence on the cover symbolized a breakthrough moment not only for Hudson but also for representation in the fashion and entertainment industries. Despite her growing success and acclaim, Hudson remained grounded and continued to take on diverse roles in various film projects. Following her stellar performance in Dreamgirls, she appeared in supporting roles in notable films such as Sex and the City, 2008, and The Secret Life of Bees, 2008, showcasing her range as an actress. In January 2008, Jennifer Hudson embarked on a new musical journey, returning to the studio to craft songs for her debut studio album. However, her record label expressed concerns about the direction of her music, leading to a decision to discard earlier tracks and focus on fresh ones. Teaming up with acclaimed producers like Ryan Tedder and Timbaland, Hudson poured her heart and soul into creating captivating new music. Her debut single, Spotlight, illuminated the charts upon its release on June 10, 2008, marking Hudson's first top 40 hit. The song soared to number 24 on the Billboard Hot 100 and reached the top 20 in both the United Kingdom and Turkey, resonating with audiences worldwide. The accompanying album, buoyed by Spotlight and Hudson's magnetic presence, debuted impressively at number 2 on the Billboard 200 chart, selling 217,000 copies in the United States alone. Hudson's musical prowess continued to shine as she lent her voice to the soundtrack of the film, Sex and the City, contributing the soulful track, All Dressed in Love. Furthermore, she graced the stage of the 2008 Democratic National Convention, delivering a stirring rendition of the national anthem, showcasing her vocal prowess on a grand scale. Tragically, Hudson faced profound personal loss when three members of her family were senselessly murdered. Despite the devastating ordeal, she demonstrated remarkable strength, making her first public appearance since the tragedy at Super Bowl XLIII in February 2009. Her performance of the Star Spangled Banner resonated deeply, symbolizing her resilience and unwavering spirit in the face of adversity. Undeterred by challenges, Hudson embarked on a nationwide tour alongside Robin Thicke in 2009 captivating audiences with her electrifying stage presence and soulful melodies. Her dedication and talent culminated in the release of her second studio album, I Remember Me, on March 22, 2011. The album debuted impressively at number 2 on the Billboard 200 chart. Selling 165,000 copies in its inaugural week, the lead single from I Remember Me, titled Where You It, captured the hearts of listeners, ascending the U.S. Billboard Hot R&B Hip Hop Songs chart to reach a peak of number 10. Penned by R. Kelly and produced by Harvey Mason Jr., the song resonated with audiences, further solidifying Hudson's position as a formidable musical force. Jennifer Hudson's journey through the realms of music, theater, and film is a testament to her unwavering talent and dedication to her craft. On September 21, 2013, she unveiled a glimpse of her upcoming third studio album with the release of the infectious 70s-style ballad, I Can't Describe, The Way I Feel, featuring T.I. and produced by Pharrell. This catchy track showcased Hudson's versatility and set the stage for what was to come. In recognition of her stellar contributions to the entertainment industry, Hudson received the 2,512th star on the illustrious Hollywood Walk of Fame. This prestigious accolade served as a testament to her enduring impact and undeniable talent. Hudson's third studio album, J-Hud, made its debut on September 23, 2014, offering a more upbeat and vibrant sound compared to her previous works. Collaborating with acclaimed producers such as Timbaland, Pharrell Williams, Redun, and R. Kelly, 
Hudson infused her signature style into each track, creating a musical tapestry that resonated with audiences worldwide. Venturing onto Broadway, Hudson made her debut in the fall of 2015, portraying the character of Shug Avery in the Broadway revival of The Color Purple. Her performance garnered widespread acclaim, with New York Times critic Ben Brantley praising her lithe, lush stage presence and velvety voice. In a significant career move, Hudson signed with Epic Records on June 28, 2016, marking a new chapter in her musical journey. Her signing, helmed by industry titans L.A. Reid and Clive Davis, heralded her as the defining voice of this generation, a testament to her unparalleled talent and influence in the world of music. Transitioning to television, Hudson made waves as a coach on both the UK and US versions of The Voice, showcasing her mentorship skills and keen eye for talent. Her victory as a coach on The Voice UK further cemented her position as a formidable force in the realm of reality competition shows. Amidst the challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic, Hudson joined forces with Bono, Will.i.am, and Yoshiki to create SING4LIFE, a song aimed at uplifting spirits during these trying times. This collaborative effort underscored Hudson's commitment to using her platform for positive change and unity. In July 2021, Hudson sat down for an insightful interview with Oprah Winfrey, discussing her portrayal of the legendary Aretha Franklin in the biopic, Respect. Directed by Lee Sultami, the film showcased Hudson's remarkable talent, earning her accolades such as the Chairman's Award at the Palm Springs International Film Festival and a nomination for the Screen Actors Guild Award for Outstanding Performance by an Actress in a Leading Role. Continuing her streak of achievements, Hudson clinched the Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Interactive Media for her role as executive producer of Baba Yaga, an interactive fairy tale released for Oculus Quest. Additionally, she emerged as one of the standout winners at the 2022 NAACP Image Awards, securing the titles of Entertainer of the Year and Outstanding Motion Picture Actress for her portrayal of Aretha Franklin in Respect. On June 12, 2022, Hudson etched her name in the annals of entertainment history, joining the elite ranks of EGOT winners at the 75th Tony Awards. This monumental achievement solidified her status as a trailblazer in the industry, setting the stage for even greater heights in her career. With appearances in the 2022 film, Tell It Like a Woman, and the upcoming, Breathe, Jennifer Hudson's star continues to rise, illuminating the world with her unparalleled talent and unwavering passion for her craft. Today, although Jennifer Hudson has gone through many difficulties, she still shows herself to have an extremely good strategic vision when making a lot of money from real estate investment. We invite you to take a look at the homes she owns right now. Mansion in Chicago Jennifer Hudson, the famous EGOT winner, lives in a lavish $3 million, 12,000-square-foot mansion nestled in Burr Ridge, just 27 miles from the bustling city of Chicago. Originally built in 2007 by the previous owner, Jennifer acquired the property and infused it with her distinctive style and flair. The sprawling home has six bedrooms, seven bathrooms and a host of luxury amenities, including Brazilian cherry wood accents throughout. Jennifer's personal touch is evident throughout the residence, as evidenced by the floating spiral staircase, which she boldly painted black, adding striking contrast to the marble foyer. The interior of Jennifer's home exemplifies luxury and sophistication, including a grand living room decorated with towering ceilings, marble floors, and plush cream furniture accented with blue. Yellow, mesh curtains and a grand piano complete the luxurious atmosphere, providing a glimpse into the singer's refined taste. In addition to the impressive living space, Jennifer's villa also has a spacious living room decorated with luxurious monochrome interiors, exuding regal splendor. Decorated with many honors and awards, the room reflects the singer's illustrious career and achievements. A dedicated music room, decorated with hanging guitars, and a private office serve as a sanctuary for Jennifer, allowing her to immerse herself in her passion for music and engage in important issues important easily. While Jennifer maintained privacy in her bedroom, she got a glimpse of the spacious 2022 space, revealing a built-in wardrobe, ample clothing storage, and a plush purple rug adds elegance to the room. The villa's amenities extend outdoors, where manicured lawns, pristine stone sidewalks and lush greenery create an enchanting oasis. Inside, the kitchen features modern appliances, ample storage space and a marble island where Jennifer can indulge her culinary passions amid neutral beige and blue tones. Dark, completing the luxurious retreat is Jennifer's master suite,
featuring a cozy fireplace and stunning ensuite bathroom with built-in bathtub, for the ultimate in relaxation and comfort. With its blend of luxury, comfort and style, Jennifer Hudson's Burr Ridge Mansion is a testament to her status as a beloved icon in the world of entertainment. Apartment in New York, nestled in the historic Apthorpe apartment building, this exceptional residence is a symbol of luxury and elegance, boasting a rich history and timeless charm. Once the beloved residence of Oscar winner Jennifer Hudson, this four-bedroom mansion is the epitome of sophistication and grandeur. Spread over 3,000 square feet, this meticulously designed apartment exudes luxury. Stepping through the marble entryway, residents are greeted by a series of spectacular pre-war details, including crystal chandeliers, intricate moldings, and ornate fireplaces reminiscent of a bygone era. The seduction is over, the residence's layout is both spacious and inviting, with a formal dining room and sun-filled chef's kitchen as focal points for gatherings and culinary enjoyment. The living room is flooded with natural light, providing a peaceful haven where residents can relax and entertain in style. With four bedrooms and four bathrooms, including separate residential suites, the apartment offers ample space for comfort and privacy, making it the ideal haven in the heart of the city. Jennifer Hudson's New York apartment is for sale for about $6,900,000. The prime location within the Apthorpe building adds to its appeal, giving residents unparalleled access to New York City's vibrant energy while also providing a quiet haven away from the bustling streets below. In addition to owning valuable real estate, Jennifer Hudson also owns valuable jewelry, showing off her classy style. Luxury Accessories In Jennifer Hudson's dazzling collection of treasures, few items shine as brightly as her exquisite platinum Neil Lane engagement ring. This stunning piece boasts a 5-carat center diamond, accented by 50 brilliant cave-set diamonds, creating a mesmerizing spectacle of sparkle and allure. While the ring's value remains a closely guarded secret, its sheer beauty is a testament to Hudson's impeccable taste and style. But Hudson's love for fine jewelry doesn't end with her dazzling ring. She adorns her wrist with a Cartier Ballon blue women's watch, crafted from 18K rose gold and adorned with 18 carats of sparkling pink and rose gold. This luxurious timepiece features intricate Roman numerals, adding a touch of elegance to Hudson's ensemble. Paired with an 18-carat bracelet valued at $11,000, her wrist becomes a canvas of opulence and sophistication. Yet, it's Hudson's collection of diamond earrings that truly captivates the imagination. Her prized possession includes a pair of diamond chandelier earrings, reserved for red carpet events, valued at a staggering $40,000. Each oversized sparkler exudes extravagance and glamour, reflecting Hudson's penchant for the finer things in life. Additionally, her Lorraine Schwartz diamond earrings, boasting an impressive 115 carats, showcase the pinnacle of elegance and refinement. Among her more unconventional acquisitions is a safety pin, purchased for $1,000. While seemingly ordinary, this safety pin holds special significance for Hudson, representing a newfound ability to indulge in life's luxuries. Coming from humble beginnings, Hudson cherishes the opportunity to embrace extravagance, even in the most unexpected forms. For Hudson, each piece of jewelry is more than just an accessory, it's a symbol of achievement, success, and the ability to savor life's pleasures. While some may see her purchases as extravagant, Hudson views them as well-deserved indulgences. A celebration of her journey from modest beginnings to international stardom, Jennifer Hudson's penchant for luxury extends beyond her jewelry collection to her impressive array of expensive SUVs, each a symbol of opulence and refinement. Cars Among her prized possessions is the BMW X6 XDRIVE 50i valued at approximately $75,000. This powerful SUV is equipped with a turbocharged 3-liter inline-six engine, delivering 375 horsepower and boasting a 48-volt hybrid system. Paired with an 8-speed automatic transmission and all-wheel drive, the X6 offers a smooth and exhilarating driving experience. Luxurious amenities abound, including 16-way power front seats, customizable ambient lighting, and heated front cushions, ensuring comfort and convenience on every journey. In her garage, Hudson also houses the iconic Rolls-Royce Phantom, a symbol of automotive excellence and luxury. Priced at $450,000, the Phantom is propelled by a turbocharged 7-liter V12 engine, generating 563 horsepower and 664 pound-feet of torque. Its lavish interior features acres of wood, metal accents, and sumptuous leather upholstery, creating an ambiance of unparalleled sophistication and refinement. 
Adding to her collection is the Bentley Mulsan, valued at $317,000. Powered by a formidable twin turbocharged 7 liter V8 engine producing 505 horsepower, the Mulsan offers effortless acceleration and unparalleled performance. Its opulent cabin, adorned with the finest materials and luxurious amenities, provides a sanctuary of comfort and elegance. From personalized leather spaces to massaging front and rear seats, the Mulsanne redefines luxury and refinement in the world of SUVs. For Jennifer Hudson, these luxury SUVs represent more than just vehicles. They embody a lifestyle of elegance, sophistication, and prestige. Don't know which car you love the most? Let us know by commenting below. Philanthropy Jennifer Hudson's impact transcends the stage and screen, extending into the realm of philanthropy where her generosity and compassion shine brightly. While she first captured the public's attention as a contestant on American Idol in 2004, it is her unwavering dedication to charitable causes that truly sets her apart. Throughout her illustrious career, Hudson has lent her support to 31 different charities, embodying a spirit of giving that resonates deeply with her admirers. Among her most cherished endeavors is the Julian D. King Foundation, established in 2008 alongside her sister following the tragic loss of her nephew, Julian King. This foundation serves as a beacon of hope for children in low-income families, aiming to enrich their lives through access to essential resources and educational opportunities. A hallmark of Hudson's philanthropy is Hatch Day, an annual tradition inaugurated on August 14, 2009, to honor Julian's memory. This special day, coined by Julian himself, symbolizes a celebration of giving back to the community. Through Hatch Day, Hudson's foundation distributes school supplies to underprivileged families in Chicago ensuring that children have the tools they need to succeed academically. Furthermore, the Julian D. King Foundation extends its support to the community through initiatives like the Holiday Toy Drive, a heartwarming endeavor that brings joy to countless children during the festive season. Alongside distributing toys and gifts, Hudson and her team host a holiday celebration dinner, recognizing and rewarding students for their academic achievements. These efforts exemplify Hudson's commitment to fostering a nurturing environment for the youth of Chicago. Beyond her hometown, Hudson's philanthropic footprint encompasses a diverse array of causes, from HIV, AIDS awareness to cancer research and civil rights advocacy. Partnering with organizations like MasterCard for the Stand Up to Cancer campaign, she amplifies her impact on a global scale, channeling resources towards life-saving research and initiatives. Through her selfless acts of kindness, she illuminates the path for others to follow, inspiring individuals to use their platforms for the betterment of society. Personal life. Jennifer Hudson's personal life has been marked by significant relationships and challenges, reflecting the complexities of fame and love. Her journey into the realm of romance began in 1999 when she was just 18 years old, as she embarked on a relationship with James Payton. However, their love story came to an end in late 2007, marking a pivotal transition in Hudson's romantic life. Shortly thereafter, Hudson encountered a new chapter in her personal narrative when she crossed paths with David Otunga, a distinguished figure in both the world of professional wrestling and academia, holding a Harvard Law degree. Their connection blossomed, leading to an engagement in September 2008. The following year, in August 2009, Hudson welcomed their first child, David Daniel Otunga Jr., into the world, marking a momentous occasion in their relationship. However, the course of their love story took an unexpected turn as Hudson and Otunga found themselves facing the challenges of separation in November 2017. Their breakup unfolded amidst a backdrop of turmoil, with Hudson levying concerning accusations against her former fiancé. Allegations of increasingly aggressive, threatening, and harassing behavior emerged, prompting Hudson to secure a protection order to safeguard herself and their son from perceived threats. In response, David Otunga's legal team vehemently refuted the claims, asserting his innocence and condemning the allegations as false. They emphasized his commitment to his role as a father and challenged the accusations as an attempt to gain an unfair advantage in custody proceedings. Highlighting the complexities and tensions that often accompany high-profile separations, despite the tumultuous nature of their breakup, Hudson and Otunga navigated the intricate terrain of co-parenting, arriving at a flexible and progressive custody arrangement in 2019. This agreement, characterized by a shared commitment to their son's well-being, reflects their mutual dedication to fostering a nurturing environment amidst challenging circumstances. Amidst the ebbs and flows of her personal life, 
Jennifer Hudson has found solace and stability in her residence in Burr Ridge, Illinois, nestled within the tranquil landscapes of suburban Chicago. Here, amidst the serenity of her surroundings, she continues to navigate the complexities of fame, love, and parenthood with grace and resilience, embodying the spirit of perseverance that defines her remarkable journey. Thank you for watching the entire video. Please leave your comments in the section below. We hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to leave a like, share and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next videos. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.